Curtis, home inspector, energy auditor, house flipper, handyman, you name it, I do it. We're headed over to the latest addition to the house flip. We're going to do an inspection today pending the offer that we made. We will be starting on this house soon. So come along with us and check it out. see what's going on before my investor gets here after a while. Uh, we're going to do a housing and home inspection on this and an energy audit both. I like to do both uh, on my properties so that I can prove to the uh, potential buyer at the end um, the energy savings. So uh, with that, let's take a quick tour of the house. It's on. Well, you know, this is uh, kind of dated. The old tile tops, those will have to come out and this, uh, this nice vintage electric range. This hood looks like it's big enough to uh, to house several stoves. Um, got a dishwasher over here that looks somewhat newer. It's a Kenmore. Garbage disposal. There's a pipe going down. Uh, that's one of the things we've got to look at today and see if we can find is where that goes because the city thinks that that's tied in after the sewer system. So. Walk down this way. Um, they've got the oven built into the wall here, which is kind of interesting. Uh, that's a hot point, and uh, got a hood above it. So uh, that looks like a real dandy. Oh yeah, so that'll have to go. This needs to be a hall closet, not a. I'm not sure what this is. So. Here's another little storage pantry. This is the uh, back door to the outside. I'm going to turn some, open it up to get some light in here. Let's go. Okay, well this looks like a Jim Dandy here. This house was built in 19, 1906, I think, or no, no, 1919. And uh, boy, there's a big camel cricket. So if this is any indication of what this basement's going to look like, here we go. I think that must be burned out because it is not on. Sewer line runs out that way. Look at that. Where? That's mold. Oh my gosh. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> That's not frost. <laughs> no, it's a hundred it's ninety degrees outside. Here's a real fantastic fuse panel right here. This has all uh, got to come out. And then it looks like we got the original farm sink down here. A dehumidifier that's not turned on or running, so that's handy. It is. There is a water softener here, so that's a plus. Copper, all copper piping. That's a plus. Here. Let's see what we got 
What do we have over here? What's that? What's that? Well, that's a big phone block, so I don't know. It's a punch down panel. It's it's like they had a whole telephone system in here at one time. Huh. It's crazy. I, I don't know. That's interesting. Maybe this was a business. Yeah. It's a bankruptcy short sale through HUD. So I'm hungry. getting it, but. Underneath the house. That doesn't look good right there because there is a commode and a bathroom upstairs, and that looks like that's where it comes down through right there. Yeah. So I would say that that's just running all over the ground. And that is most likely going to have to be fixed, obviously. There's a big behemoth furnace. Wow, that baby is in better days. Another little break in the soil to go outside to, I guess. Here's some more mold. See, look at them. Look at how beautiful it is. I mean, it looks beautiful, but yeah. just take it. That's what mold does. Is it takes, tries to convert everything back to uh, Uh, to dirt. I mean, that's that's mold's job. At least the crawl space is big enough to get in. Yeah. So that will be a plus when working on things. Oh, yeah. So we'll see what's back in this scary little room here. freaked out right now. <laughs> the cameraman is freaked out. Oh, here we go. Hey, you've got a light Hey, here. wow, cool. <laughs> uh, energy saving bulb. Well, somebody tried to do a The energy savings look like they tried to do something back in here that failed. Never put paper insulation like that because that's exactly what happens is it falls down. So. That'll have to be fixed. There's the main stack coming out of the bathroom downstairs. So. Okay, well, needs a little work. Okay, well, one of the things I want to do is take out all these old uh, uh, steam heat systems and sell it for scrap. And oh, it looks like somebody already beat me to it. They've already, they've already taken all of it out of there and scrapped it. Well, that'll be, I was planning on that money for the budget, so I guess that's gone. That's what you're going to find in one of these houses. Looks like we got a, some kind of firearm up here. Boy, looky there, that's, a, that's an assault rifle. Oh, sure. Classic there. We're running right at him. <laughs> <laughs> This toilet sink and commode or a shower. It's a pretty nice shower. Really. So again, a little work on this railing needs to be done. I don't know that those are four inches between, so we may have to bring that up to code. Looks like somebody's already robbed the steam heat out of here. That's where those copper pipes go down into that bathroom uh, closet, so we'll be able to salvage a little of that. Red paint. I never understand why these uh, flip houses always have the wildest colors in them. <laughs> Talk about some closet space. Look at all this closet space. Really big closet down here. Right 
up there. Somebody's been having a good time in here. This is the attic hatch, which we'll have to get up in after a while. Must be the master bedroom. Here we go. Whenever we need to plug it in the middle of the floor, we just drill a hole and run an extension cord down into the other room. That's pretty interesting. Little closet here. I think this will needs to be a, probably a, like a TV room or something. Some nice uh, wire sticking up there. Here's the furnace. For the upstairs. So someone's already put that in, which is a plus. Looks like something's been a little hot there, but yeah. Go ahead and get a picture of that. Steelers fan here. Space there. This must be the kids' bedroom. Yeah, it must be. We'll have paint there, probably, I would assume, since it's kind of peeling up. We drop some paint on the floor there and get the thing right. That is a nice circle. <laughs> Some work up here. I mean, yeah. This bathroom is pretty nice. Yeah. I mean, for what it is, I, I think it's salvageable. Yeah, you know, right. this has got to go. Probably a, a nice little pedestal sink. Uh, the commode's not bad. That probably needs to be mm -hmm. fixed. Uh, these shower doors are a little dated, but I might be able to get those old fish and and uh, seaweed designs off of it and regrout it. Maybe good to go. Okay, uh, this uh, we're getting up in the attic of the front part of this house. Um, it appears what has uh, knob and tube wiring in it, so uh, we're going to go up and see if it's live. Hopefully, it isn't because um, on my brief walkthrough when I made the offer, I didn't see this live this knob and tube. So I got uh, I got my meter here and my camera, and we're headed up there.
set up the blower door here and do a test on the building for see how tight the building is and check that, uh, the efficiency with, with all the data from the inf uh, information that I got from the furnaces. And uh, then we'll see how, uh, how everything comes out with the numbers. We got the blower door running right now and we're actually testing the building tightness. This house is so leaky that it won't even get up to 50 pascal. So the computer has set it at 25 pascal. So basically when we look at this at the end, it will be uh, a, the uh, finished blower door speed will be uh, doubled. So uh, that's kind of where we're at now. I like to use the computer and uh, tech type and we'll print out a uh, data sheet that will tell us how much uh, it cost to heat and cool this building or how much energy we're wasting. And then at the end, when we get it all tight, uh, we'll compare the difference and that'll be our savings. Run to Lula, run! Hi, baby!